U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo issued a strongly worded statement calling China's maritime claims in the South China Sea completely unlawful, while condemning Beijing's use of might makes right intimidation tactics to infringe on the sovereignty of Southeast Asian countries. Washington obviously wants to make waves in the South China Sea unwilling to let the regional situation stabilize. Washington wants to incite ASEAN countries to take a tough stance on China and make them cannon fodder for the U.S. strategy to contain China. I think Washington is ridiculous. It must think the ASEAN nations are idiots if it believes they could be fooled so easily and don't see its sinister intentions. ASEAN nations likely welcome U.S. presence in the South China Sea to balance China's influence. If the U.S. is willing to provide that balance, then fine. But the U.S. is dreaming if it wants ASEAN countries to turn against China. The U.S.'s international mobility has been greatly weakened as it remains mild in the pandemic. Americans are not welcome in many countries around the world. Under these circumstances, the U.S. only has a few more pieces left like Pompeo and National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien is going to take more than these guys flapping their lips for the U.S. to take a leading role in East Asia.